Hello everybody, it is Baldrick Sodoff here and I'm playing some Black Ops 2 Nuketown 2025 with, armed with a SWAT with a fully auto attachment. So it's not the noobiest gun but it's not the worst gun. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this gameplay. And by the way, the camo is that cyborg camo which you have to buy so you can't really unlock it unfortunately. But anyway, just thought I'd tell you that before I start on my commentary. So anyway, let's go on to what I was going to say, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. So, they say it's a very new engine, but I don't totally agree with them. Basically what they're doing is they're revamping the old engine, like, massively. They're going to completely rewrite it. But it's sort of going to be the same engine, so it's sort of a marketing thing. That's why they're saying that they're doing a completely new engine. So it would be similar to Black Ops 2 engine, except better. But no major, it would be a major improvement, but it's still running off a basic Quake. I'm pretty sure it's 3 or 2 engines, so yeah. It's nothing too new. But for all you COD lovers, uh, it will be basically the same. I'm assuming the maps will be more interactive, hopefully, like you might be able to blow up some buildings, maybe battlefield style, but then it sort of gets rid of a COD feeling where it's a shoot 'em up game where you can do whatever you want, run with a knife, and knife people with heavy machine guns, do whatever you want. So that's why people play COD, because you can do what Rambo does basically. So yeah. Uh, and another thought I have is that giving out that map if you pre-order it but when I pre-order I didn't even pre-order Black Ops and I got Nuketown 2025 so I reckon it's just gonna be another gimmick to try and get you to waste some more money and pre-order it I probably will pre-order it maybe a week before it comes out but for all the people who don't and aren't too fussed on when they get it maybe they can get it a week after or maybe a year after even, I'm not sure why I would do that, but yeah. Uh, it's just basically a marketing gimmick that they put on for us to try and get the game early. And yeah, it's nothing great. Um, the Prestige Edition and, or the Box Edition, I'm sure they'll have one or probably do have one. It's probably going to be worth buying if you're a collector, but the standard pre-order, uh, I don't think it's worth it, guys. Uh, if you're a zombies lover like me, I probably would recommend pre-ordering a Treyarch game because you do get the zombies, usually. Like, I'm pretty sure if you pre-ordered Black Ops when it came out, you got the four original zombie maps. And if you pre-ordered Black Ops 2, you got Nuketown Zombies, so that was pretty awesome. But, unfortunately, I wasn't bothered to pre-order and I just got it, like, a day after it came out. Because there was plenty of, uh games still left in EB Games, which is, I'm pretty sure, the same franchise in GameStop if you're from the USA or Canada, I'm assuming it's there as well. So yeah, guys, uh, they're my thoughts. Overall, I think it'll be a slight improvement on Black Ops 1, the thing I didn't... No, sorry, Black Ops 2, what am I saying? I love Black Ops 1. Uh, yeah, I reckon it'll be a slight improvement, hopefully a bit more realistic guns because these guns just look a bit ridiculous some of them especially that camo i'm using but anyway guys i uh, hope you liked this commentary leave in the comments what you think about call of duty ghosts and what they shouldn't and should have done so anyway guys see you later and see you next time